Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to go over how to do head look or free look. So what that is, is when you click middle mouse button, you can get a view of your ship, like this. And it also works for the cockpit. So you can uh, look around like that. So what we'll do is we'll just go to our base ship. And uh, the first thing you'll need is an input. So you can go to the project settings, input and add uh, toggle head look. I have it bound to middle mouse button as well as controller and all that. You can set it to whatever you want. So in your base ship in the event graph you'll just get uh, input action toggle head look and you'll set up a new function called toggle head look. And we'll go in that and we'll have a bool uh, is head looking. If that's false then we set it to true. If it's true then we reset the uh, rotation on the third person spring arm and the cockpit camera we set that to zero so that it's not at a weird rotation when you go back into it. And then we set the is head looking to false. So that just changes what it currently is. So then in the event graph, off the tick, we'll just have a branch for is head looking. If it's false, you'll run your, um, get your flight rotation and add that to your ship. I also have an is controls locked so you can lock the ship if you want. But, uh, if is, is head looking is true, then you'll do head look tick, which is a new function we have. And um, it just gets if we're in first person or third person by checking if the cockpit camera is active. If it is active, then we're going to be adding the rotation from the player's uh, look up and turn right axis axes to the uh, local rotation of the cockpit camera. And then we're going to also get the local rotation, we're going to get the pitch and the yaw and clamp it so you can't look completely behind your head. And then we're going to set the local, set the relative rotation. And we do both so that it doesn't have a weird wobbly roll effect because we want to cancel out the roll. So for the third person spring arm, it's the same thing if the cockpit camera is not active. Then we add local rotation using the get look up and get turn right axis. And then we set the relative rotation. This one we don't clamp so you can look around completely. And that's it. That's how the system works. And I'll just demonstrate it again. So you can uh, look around like this when you hit middle mouse button. When you hit it again, it'll go back. You can zoom in. You can look around. And that's it. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.